Welcome back, everybody. I hope your day has been extremely good so far. And uh, yeah, I haven't uploaded in a little while, uh, obviously. I have actually skipped some of the more recent uh, new releases just because they're totally out of my price range. But uh, today, we are going to be doing a bit of a mail day, opening up a mystery pack. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, just going over this tops 2020 2021 uh, nhl sticker album and uh yeah so this was three bucks i got it because i kind of want to complete the uh, set this year and uh it actually I, I ordered it online and it came in pretty rough shape so i know it doesn't matter uh, a ton but i would have liked to receive an album that wasn't in horrible well not horrible but mediocre condition but uh I mean, it's alright. I don't really uh, mind it that much. It looks really nice, actually. And uh, there are 670 stickers to collect. And what an awesome season the uh, 2021 season has been so far. I'm absolutely loving uh, watching my Habs. And uh, also, I sent in some uh, few Habs cards for uh, for grading. Josh Anderson Young Guns is one of them. Uh, sent them over to MNT, so there should be a video on that in the next month or so. And I still have to uh, find a Jake Allen Young Guns somewhere. A Tyler a Foley one as well. I gotta buy that, but it's uh, gone pretty crazy in price as of late. So uh, those are going to be some fun purchases in the near future. But uh, till then, let's see what we get here in this uh, Tops sticker collection album. We're getting, I believe, 10 uh, exclusive uh, stickers here as well. So uh, here we go. I guess this is uh, six of them here. Uh, we got Gardner, Carlson, Radulov, Bobrovsky, Drysaddle, and Kopitar. They look really nice. And I guess we can uh, peel them off here and um, then put them in the album. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, this is pretty much what uh, the pages look like. I won't go through every single one of them, but you got your teams all in uh, alphabetical order. Uh, and these are the uh, players that played for them in the uh, 1920 season. So all of the teams. And then after that, I believe there's some like season highlight cards. Or not cards, uh, stickers. Uh, okay, there's rookie debut. Uh, yeah, just a ton of uh, random cool uh, inserts here. Classic stickers. That's going to be pretty nice. And uh, hopefully, if I can finish it, I'll show it on video sometime. Mascots. That's kind of cool. So yeah, just a ton of uh, cool stickers to collect. Make your own NHL All-Star team. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then we got some more stickers here at the back. We got Panarin, Duchesne. Anders Lee and Matt's Zuccarello. So there you go. That's the uh, top sticker album. Again, wish it was in uh, better shape, but still a uh, pretty cool thing to collect. Now, the first package I'm going to be opening is actually coming over from a subscriber. So this was sent to me by Earl. Gonna try and hide the address there on the top. And uh, actually, Earl sent me an email and uh, is... Uh, missing two cards. Actually, there's a note here, so it might say it here. But uh, yeah, uh, on the hunt for uh, two elusive cards. And uh, yeah, we got that's uh, very nicely packaged. And we'll take a look at the cards afterwards. But first, uh, we got the uh, we got the little note here. So let's open this up here and just see uh, what is written here. So hi Matt, thanks for helping me hunt for my missing cards. Here is a complete base set of 0304 Parkhurst Original Six Le Canadien with one insert for the set that is awesome enjoy thanks earl so uh there you go that that is really awesome i can't wait to look at those cards uh and here we go this is uh what he's been missing i've looked everywhere online for these pretty much so uh they're not on ebay there's none of these on com c or anything like that but if anyone knows we can find a 2000 2001 be a player signature series sapphire card of uh, Trevor Linden, as well as the 98-99 uh, Be A Player Mark Recchi Gold autograph, uh, or also the uh, 0304 buyback version of that card. So I've been trying to find these cards online, and obviously he has uh, been trying to find them for quite some time. Um, no luck yet. So if you know where uh, these cards are, uh, definitely just post a comment down below and uh, maybe I can get you in contact with Earl and hopefully we can uh, help him finish the collection. So, uh, wow, huge thank you for uh, for sending these. Let's take a look at these that are in uh, the top loaders first. So to start things off, we've got a very nice Richard Zednik from 0304 memorabilia and this is numbered out of 200. 93 of 200, that is pretty cool. For, uh, for the Habs, of course. And then, three-star selection of... Uh, for, this is from Collector's Choice of uh, Justin Thibault, Saku Koivu, and Pierre Turgeon. That's pretty nice right there. Uh, and I guess it's just Saku Koivu on the back. 
That's kind of cool, though. I like that a lot. And uh, a very nice, this is from the uh, Parker's Original Six set, a retired numbers of Jean Bédiveau. That is a beauty. Very nice. Thank you for sending these. And let's just take a look at all of these. So I'll put the box here out, uh, out of frame. And so, ooh, very nice. Uh, oh, I guess we got some inserts here to start things off, and then we got all of the uh, the entire set. So I have to put that in an album, and uh, yeah, that is so awesome. So here we go. We've got uh, an Omega card. I'm not familiar with the, some of these here. This is of Brian Savage. Uh, very nice. That is a very cool looking card from '98 Pacific. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we got Josie Theodore first edition card. Another very nice insert there from. In the game, there you go. And then a uh, Saku Koivu, Young Stars from Bowman. That's probably another uh, early 2000s card, I'm guessing. Yep, O2 uh, Tops, that is very nice. Uh, and then we've got Valerie Bure. This is a score, 95-96. Very cool. Love to see, uh, yeah, pinnacle score. Okay, uh, and then we've got Jeff Hackett. He played uh, for quite some time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Jeff Hackett, yep from Pacific. Uh, and then we got another pretty cool looking card. This is of uh, Terry Sawchuk, the uh, goaltender there. That is a pretty funny looking card. Uh, very cool. All right. And then we got uh, Jean Bédiveau. Awesome looking card there. Uh, love to see it. That is super cool. Um, with the Q&A there on the back. And uh, then we got the original six. These are, uh, oh, very cool. Uh, these are the redemption point uh, thicker cards here uh, that you could redeem for, uh, I believe, some cards back in uh, back in the day, but they're expired now. They're really nice looking, though, so uh, I like that a lot. So here are the cards. We got, uh, look at that, Thomas Placanitz. That is super cool. And number 35. That's so strange seeing him without his uh, number 14. Uh, that is so cool, though. I'm actually, I, I really like the look of this set. Uh, José Theodore, that is super cool. Oh, and actually, oh, and he put him in order. Look at that. Uh, number one, number two. Earl, that is awesome. Makes my job a lot easier, and I really appreciate that. That's awesome. José Theodore, and then we got, uh, who's this? Uh, oh, Ron Hainsey. Very nice. And then uh, Patrice Brisebois. And then uh, we've got John Bullis. And then uh, Nicholas Sundstrom. Very cool. A lot of uh, these older names. Steve Bejain, I believe he uh, helped us get Max Pacioretty, who helped us get Nick Suzuki. So, uh, actually, no, that was Craig Reeve. What am I saying? Um, but Steve Bejain, he was pretty uh, liked, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then we got Anders Dackel. All right, don't know that uh, that player. And then uh, Kyle Dickius. Michael Ryder. Love to see it. And then uh, Jason Ward. And, uh, yeah, Benoit Graton. A lot of these names I'm not too familiar with. This was a little before my time. Uh, Chris Higgins, of course, I know. Uh, and there you go, Craig Rive, who, uh, helped us get, uh, maybe it was actually Josh George's. I don't, I don't know. I'm confused now. Uh, Marcel Hosa. Love to see it. And then we've got Joey, who's this? Joey Juno. There you go. That's another one I don't know. Chad Kilger. Saku Koifu, Captain. Awesome. Uh, and then Sheldon Sure, and that is so sick. Andre Markov, love to see it. And uh, wow, all right, I'll just start flipping through these. Mathieu Garon and uh, Yannick Perrault, Francis Bouillon, uh, a lot of good names. Mike Ribeiro, and uh, yeah, I'll just flip through these, and uh, I'll definitely have to uh, store them because this is an awesome set. I'm really happy to uh, to have it now. So uh, once again, a huge thanks for uh, for sending these over. And I've got to keep them in order now because, uh, yeah, you did all this work for me. So I'm guessing these are the uh, the legends. We got Chris Chelios. Uh, yeah, and these are uh, just a bunch of uh, legends. Jacques Laperriere. That is just super cool, though. Uh, yeah, these are going to look amazing uh, once they're in an album. Guy Lafleur, love to see it. Henri Richard, that is just so awesome. So I'm sure if you're a Habs fan, you can appreciate this uh, collection. This is super awesome. Gump Worsley, uh, Patrick Croix right there. Uh, yeah, just some super... Uh, amazing players. This is just the entire history of Montreal. It'd be kind of cool if they uh, did one of these sets sometime uh, soon. That'd be very awesome if we could have a uh, just all Habs set. I know they made the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf one in uh, 2017. So I'd like to see another uh, Habs one. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I guess these are the all-star cards now. Uh, yeah, seems like all-stars. That is super nice. Uh, wow. Just once again, some amazing names. Um, 
Jacques Plante. I mean, come on. <laughs> that is so awesome. Uh, Robinson, Patrick Roy, Guy Lafleur. And then we've got captains. All right, so captains cards. Uh, so I guess these are horizontal. We got Saku Koivu and yeah, just a bunch of, uh, once again, amazing names. Maurice Richard. And uh, yeah, this is just amazing. Uh, some incredible players there. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy. I'll go through and uh, look at these afterwards because yeah, these are super awesome. Um, but yeah, once again, huge thank you to Earl. This is uh, very appreciated. I love the look of this set. And uh, wow, franchise leaders as well. Yep, just once again, such a amazing franchise. And uh, I just love the look of these cards. So there you go. This is a 100 card base set. And uh, I've got it now. So I'll be putting them away in, uh, in a binder. And... Uh, yeah, this is super, super appreciated. So once again, a uh, massive thanks to Earl. And I'm trying to get this little crumb of uh, something off the mat. Uh, yeah, so if uh, once again, you've got one of the uh, two cards that he's missing right here, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Or if you've seen one somewhere, if you could help us out, that would be super appreciated. And uh, once again, a huge thanks to Earl for this package. This is uh, super awesome. And uh, just... Very much appreciated. All right, so package number two is coming in from Tristan, I believe. Uh, so I'll just grab these here. I believe this is empty. All right, awesome. Uh, so let's take a look. There's another note here. Uh, here we go. We've got, uh, what's up? I found some Habs rookie cards that I think you don't have. Hope you like them. I also put some bonus cards in there as well. And uh, sorry, I didn't have any team bags on me. Uh, and this is from Tristan. So. Uh, big thank you to Tristan for this, and let's take a look at uh, what he sent. So we got the rookie cards, and then there's also uh, bonus cards. So let's take a look at uh, these right here. So we got uh, Opichi rookie, I believe, of uh, Gino Ojik. This is from, I believe, 91, 92. Yep, yeah, 91 uh, Opichi. That is pretty Nice looking. I love the look of these uh, 90s OPG cards. And we got Kevin Haller once again from the uh, same year. André Rastico, beautiful looking. Uh, and then we got Patrice Brisebois, very nice. This is an upper deck uh, rookie card from 91, 92. That is super cool. Uh, love to see that as well. That is a uh, beauty. I love these uh, upper deck 90s rookies. And then we got Matt Higgins, uh, beauty choice. I don't know if he's related to uh, to Chris Higgins, but maybe, as they uh, both seem to have uh, played for the Habs. That is pretty cool. Uh, Matt Higgins, rookie. And then we got a Topps rookie of Yves Racine. Is this uh, 1991? Uh, yeah, 1991 Topps. Yves Racine, very nice. And then another one of his as well, both in a very good condition. That is super cool. Uh, yeah. Love the look of these cards. Once again, big thank you to uh, Tristan for sending these over. And a score rookie of John LeClaire. That is super nice. Uh, wow. Awesome. That is very nice. Uh, love to see that. And then a Nicholas Sundstrom, NHL rookie from Tops. Now, I don't actually know what set this is. This is Topps uh, from 95, 96, but, uh, yeah, I got no idea what set this is. So if someone, uh, knows where, uh, what card this is from, maybe it's just from, uh, tops, maybe it's just regular tops. Uh, and then we got a Canada's rookies of Max Domi. This is, uh, from National Hockey Card Day. That is, uh, really nice. That is super cool. And then we got, uh, the little bonus cards, uh, bag here. Let's take a look at this. We got a Montreal Canadiens OPG, uh, Seems like a uh, team photo there. That is pretty cool. And then a Chris Chelios Norris Trophy from 89 OPG. That is super cool. Uh, Chris Chelios. And then a Mike McPhee. Uh, once again, this is from 89 OPG. And then Stefan Richer. Awesome. That is uh, super cool. I believe the last Habs player to uh, hit 50 goals in a season. There you go. 89-90. He hit uh, 51 goals right there. So... Uh, that's a pretty awesome card. And then we got Patrick Roy, Vezina Trophy winner from, uh, once again, the early 90s upper deck, 92-93. And then a P.K. Subban card from score, 12-13. 
Wow, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Tristan. Uh, that is very much appreciated. And uh, wow, just once again, thanks for sending over the cards. I really do appreciate. And I actually, I don't think I had most of those. So uh, they're definitely going to, uh, to go right into the collection. So last but not least, I've got a mystery pack to open up. This was bought from, I believe it's Baliki Packs. And uh, this was $40. So uh, $40 shipped Canadian. So yeah, hockey mystery pack. I'm kind of excited to uh, see what's going to be inside. Uh, I guess there's some tape here that I need to uh, remove. Seems like a letter as well. So I'm um, really excited to uh, to see what's going to be uh, inside the uh, the mystery pack. Because 40 bucks is definitely not cheap. Uh, yeah, there are uh, a lot of uh, good mystery packs out there. There's also a lot of uh, less good ones. So I'll let you know what I think of this. And you can also let me know down below uh, what you think. Uh, I got, uh, if I got my money's worth for, uh, for uh, $40. So, dear Mr. The Hops Guy, that never gets old. Uh, thank you for reaching out and purchasing one of my mystery packs. I hope you enjoy the cards, and congrats on reaching the 2K subs milestone. Keep up the great videos. IG, there you go. Uh, Baliki Packs and YouTube Baliki Packs as well. Uh, P.S. I packaged everything while wearing gloves and on a sanitized station. Trust me. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> that is awesome. And uh, thanks a ton for uh, for the message. Uh, that really does mean a lot. So uh, there you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get something awesome in the uh, the mystery pack. And uh, seems like it's really nicely packaged here. Let's uh, open this up here and take a look at uh, the cards inside. All right, they're really stuffed in here. So I'm gonna. Grab a few here uh, at once. Uh, don't want to uh, to damage any of them. And uh, here we go. All right. So all of the cards are out of the uh, giant top loader. And uh, here's what we got. So for forty dollars, let's see. Uh, we got a Josh Mahura Young Guns. This is, I believe, from uh, SPA. Yep, five fourteen. So that's an SP authentic update Young Guns. Uh, it says it right down there as well. Uh, so that could be something good in the uh, near future. Josh Mahura. I don't know. I don't really watch uh, Ducks games, especially not this year. So don't know if that's any good. Uh, this is kind of cool, though. A stature green of uh, Marc-André Fleury. This is numbered 14 out of 149. That's a pretty cool card. I like uh, I like the flower a lot. So uh, that's a really nice one. Love the uh, the rainbow there. Uh, and actually, just a few more cards here. I don't know how many cards we're uh, we're supposed to get in uh, in uh, this. So uh, let's see. We've got Jimmy Schult Young Guns for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. All right. Don't know much about uh, Schult either, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's not one of the uh, bigger names. Uh, this is kind of cool. Ovation. I believe this is a base card of Carey Price. Uh, actually, this is a rookie. That's actually really cool. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that. I, uh, wow, I guess I should have known that. Uh, wow, okay. I'm pretty sure that's actually my second carry price rookie. I've got a victory rookie of his, and now I've got this ovation rookie card. So that's awesome. And then, wow, okay, that is pretty sweet. A uh, massive materials jumbo jersey of Paul Coffey. That is pretty sweet. Uh, Paul Coffey, jumbo jersey out of two ninety nine, number thirty five of two ninety nine. Uh, says game worn material, so that's pretty nice for sure. Uh, and then it seems like actually one last card is a Carter Ashton, uh, jumbo jersey silver. And actually, this is a vault stamped one of one. I don't know if uh, this is actually a true one of one card. There's a different color for like each stamp, and if it's pink, it means there's a certain amount like under ten. Uh, that exist. If it's green, maybe it's like an actual one of one. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll have to do some research on that. But uh, Carter Ashton is not one of the uh, bigger names out there. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. All right. Uh, for $40, I don't know. Um, it's all going to depend on uh, how much the price is worth, in my opinion. You let me know. What, what do you think of this uh, mystery pack? I got to say, the uh, carry price definitely uh, makes it... Uh, at least close to being worth it, in my opinion. Uh, $40 is definitely steep for uh, for a mystery pack. But then again, uh, if I were to buy a uh, blaster box at Walmart, I definitely would not get anywhere near uh, this amount of value. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about uh, this mystery pack down below. And once again, a big thanks to Tristan and to Earl for sending the packages uh, early in the video. I really do appreciate it. I've got some more videos coming in the near future, so uh, ring the notification bell down below if you want to be uh, notified whenever I upload. And uh, just thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.